Hi guys, Squad here. Welcome to another episode of Trucking Diaries. I thought we'd carry on and some more money. Actually, I was just having a quick look. Uh, I was having a quick look at the finances and stuff and also the progress because I was wondering when we're going to level up again. Uh, it looks like we're going to level up this time actually, so we should be able to get another skill point out of this uh, and spend it wisely. I was also reviewing the bank situation because I couldn't remember how much money we owed. Uh, yeah, it seems like we owe quite a bit to be fair. Um, we're not making a massive amount of money, but we're starting to make like reasonable amounts of money. Um, we've got, I, I suspect I'll end up paying this off early at some point because this is attracting 18% interest rate. Uh, so maybe when we get to, yeah, by the time we get up, we'll probably be, by the time we've saved up enough money, this might be on like 70k maybe. And then maybe we can just pay it off. Uh, probably just let this one roll, to be honest with you. Um, I, I suspect I will pay this off at some point, but I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. In terms of the drivers, um, they're doing okay. Uh, we've got a couple of drivers here, and they're both earning over a thousand a day, which is which is fine. It's solid money. It's two thousand a day, uh, which is if we have a look at the bank. So they're they're making two thousand a day, and our instalments are well seven. What's that? Seven, eight, eight and a half, eight and a half a day. So we need to we need to clear at least six and a half thousand a day just to pay the bills. <laughs> it's such a struggle this game at the beginning, um, but anyway, I've lined up a job. Let's jump in the tr in the truck. Uh, I've lined up a job which is a what is it now? It's not a high yeah, it's a high value cargo. I think uh, it's not a it's not an urgent delivery. It's a standard delivery, but it's a high value cargo, so it pays uh, pretty well. It's only like two hundred and 30k drive i think it is but it pays over six grand so the main thing is that you know we just avoid any kind of damage on the way really uh, any issues we particularly don't want any any fines because everything everything hurts quite a lot in the early game as i've said this before many times you know this game is tricky at the beginning there we go. This game is tricky at the beginning, and then later on, uh, in the mid game, money starts to just rapidly come in, and eventually, you're earning so much money it's ridiculous. Oh, I've just remembered the uh, the engine on this thing is only like a 300, I think. Has that got steering axle? I think it's got a steering axle on the back. Uh, I should just remembered we have no sat nav either on this truck, because. We're just a pauper with poor equipment. So we'll have to bring up the overlay. Uh, people still ask what is the... How have you got your root advisor and stuff down there? It is a mod. Uh, in the base game you can't... I don't know why, but in the base game you can't actually move any of the UI elements on the screen. It's something that I thought would have been addressed a long time ago. Uh, you know, for example, if you press F2... The mirrors are always up there, but they're not that big. They can only be changed with a mod. Um, the UI, the map thing, is normally on the right side of the screen about a third of the way up. You can't change it except with a mod. In something like iRacing, if I in iRacing, if I press Alt-K, I can drag any aspect of the UI anywhere I want on the screen. And... I genuinely think that uh, in your truck they should do that. They should allow you to just move it where you want it to be. You should be able to resize the mirrors, put them where you want. Uh, so I can have really small mirrors in the bottom left if I want to. And as for the map, just let me put it where I want. But I love the, the thing I like about the Hemel's Root Advisor is if I get rid of the map like that, I can have just this really compact like tape of information at the bottom of the screen. Um, obviously, with this truck, I have to have the sat nav as well. That's fine. I don't think this does have a steering actually, you know. It certainly didn't feel like it turned that corner. Um, but yeah, other than that, normally I would drive like that. Um, but that's that's cool as well. Ostrava. Now, I've updated all my mod packs, so I've got the latest Jazzy Cat stuff. Uh, it looks like the motorcycle problem has been fixed. I don't know if you guys remember. But a few weeks ago, Jazzy Cat Motorcycle Packs was going a little bit crazy. 
and you'd sort of pull up at a junction and you'd see like three or four motorcycles at a time just there's one behind me now funny enough three or four motorcycles at a time just rock up and it was it was getting a bit weird i was beginning to think i'd, I'd messed up the order of my mods or something but i think it was a bug in jazzy cat uh so i've got the painted truck traffic i've got the uh, bdf uh, truck traffic i've got the jazzy cat ai vehicles a random event there. Ooh, on his side. Nice. Um, what else have we got? Internet traffic. Uh, I've got the trailer pack. There's like a... I think it's about the Jazzy, Jazzy Cat trailer pack now. Is It's so big that it's like three very large files plus an English file on top. It's absolutely huge. Like, Jazzy Cat stuff is just insane. It's actually insane. I don't know where we'd be without Jazzy Cat. I, I just can't... Like, I can't play the game without his packs now. It just addresses so many things in the game. Adds so much more richness that it's just insane not to have it. Hello. Got RO. Is that a Russian? No, it can't be Russian. Romanian. It's got to be a Romanian trailer. Right, this is where we end up in a drag race. Right, you going to let me move over, pal? There we go. Let's see if we can get away with a gear change. And I take it up to about 75 and then I lock in the cruise control. That's that's generally how I'll drive, but right now this engine's struggling. What's the weight of this trailer? 20 tons. Hmm. Yeah, I've got my foot flat on the 4 in 4H and it's just not accelerating. Let's go back down to 4L and see if we can pick up speed. Uh, what I was looking to do was lock in the cruise control. But I can't even get to 75 yet. We just don't have the pulling power right now. Okay, let's try that. Right, so 188 k's left. Uh, let's have a look at the map. Fuel's good. Absolutely fine for fuel. So I think we've got the 4x2 chassis. Yeah, we've got the 4x2 chassis. We've got a massive tank on the side. In fact, we've got two massive tanks. At a guess, we've probably got 1,400 litres of fuel on board. Let's see if... 1966. Cruise control set, temperature... Actually, I'm thinking the above number is 2,000 litres of fuel. Seems excessive. What's the bottom one then? Hmm. Metropic gear. I actually don't know. Because our fuel gauge is shown two thirds full. There's no way that's two thirds full. So the upper one must be our mileage then. Maybe the lower one's our range? Maybe that's it. Maybe we've done 2,000 miles. No, because that's down there. 1,176 kilometres. I'll have to keep my eye on it. I'm not entirely sure what that's showing me. But we have got plenty of fuel, that's fine. See, what I was looking at was just the routing through here. Looks like we're taking Route 1 all the way. That's good. I don't mind that because it means there's a lot less chance of... Um, there's a lot less chance of having a traffic issue, as in running a red light and being fined for it or having a collision or, you know, turning a corner with, into a narrow road and having another collision like anything like that from happening come on dude, let me over I don't want a traffic fine let me over pal I have to say though, the AI is so incredibly unforgiving and in the early game it's so easy to just rack up these horrible fines like if you're getting paid for a job 3,000 euros or whatever and then you go, you run a red light and the police car sees you, they'll fine you what, is it 1,400 or 1,500? And that's like all your profit gone straight away. That's what makes it brutal. You've just got to avoid penalties. You can of course turn them off in the options but you know, I'd rather leave them on. scenery while we're here.
design of those power lines are pretty weird. Looks like they've got like two in the center, then four on the outside. I guess that reduces the height, actually. That's actually not a bad design. That reduces the overall height. Whereas the ones we have in the UK are like three on each side. So you get a lot more height. Okay, I think that's a speed camera up there, so I'm just going to hit the brakes because of cruise control. I don't think we've got a retarder on the transmission yet. I, I've got a feeling that only comes later on, at a higher level. And if you don't have a retarder, then the cruise control ca has no way of slowing you down because it can't apply the brakes. So, with a retarder, it can retard the... Uh, it can use the transmission retarder to slow you down when you go downhill to a, to a certain point. There's only so much that the transmission retarder can do. Um, but without it, as I've got, as soon as you start going down a hill, it, it can just do nothing about your speed. And if you notice, I'm fairly certain that was a speed camera. Just waiting to catch me out. As they are, always on a downward slope. And then they call them safety cameras. Oh, it's raining! Sure, we've got lights on because we don't own a traffic offence for that either. So I reckon, what are we, level 8 now? I'm trying to remember the skill progression. There's a bunch of things unlock at level is it 10 or 12. Like it only lets you have certain size engines and transmissions per level. I'm not so bothered about the accessories. It's the, the engine size is one of the big, big problems, you know, because... You know, later on you want to start hauling something a bit heavier and it just becomes a bit of a pain with a an underpowered engine. Wow, that weather turned quickly. Uh, why are we slowing down? I don't know why that that van just suddenly slowed down, but it completely freaked me out. I thought I'd missed something. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Once those drivers... The drivers are set to uh, long-distance driving at the moment, so... As they build up skill points, then... And they generally build up a skill point as we do, bizarrely enough. So when we level up, generally they will. And then they'll get skill points in long-distance, and then they can start taking jobs much further. And the longer-distance jobs definitely pay better. Just seems to be the, the way the uh, the finance is scaled in this game. Must admit, though, it's always like it has been so many years since I actually played this game at such a low level that it is a bit of an eye opener when I step it into a truck a truck config and I can't buy the things I want. Like everything's disabled. I can't and I don't have the money to buy stuff and I can't just go and like on my main profile if I just pull up to a garage. 200 grand. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll just buy that garage, no problem. On this profile, I'm scratching around to pay my monthly interest fee. <laughs> it's, just, it's just nuts. We seem to be slow. That's the speed limit change. There we go. But, you know, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What the heck just happened? You know, for a low-level driver with a very small engine, like we're hauling a decent, decent trailer here, I think. I'm not entirely sure why we just got brake tested. I think the AI is just being random again. Yeah, these gear ratios. Like, the problem with these gear ratios right now is because the engine's just so small. Um, I pretty much have to split every gear. Because, like, if I, I just had, like, I went from 3, what did I go, from 3L to 4L, and it just wasn't having it. I have to go from 3L to 3H. Like, now I should be able to get away with 4L. There we go. Because the engines are so underpowered, it can't cope with it.
Yeah, this is really weird what the AI is doing. It just keeps slowing down for reasons unknown. Yeah, at some point, I'll add um, pro mods as well, by the way. I've not added pro mods at the moment. What is going on? So we're just on the default SDS world, but at some point I will add pro mods. Turn it right. I was I was wondering whether to get in the left lane and overtake, but we're actually turning off here, so we'll stay where we are. What a horrible day! Blimey. Okay, maybe that was the wrong gear. Right, destination is in sight. Time to get paid. We're almost on 15 grand, so we're trying to earn as much money as we can before the end of the day because, well, we've got enough money to cover the daily payments for today, which is about, what, eight and a half grand, something like that. So as long as you've got money in the bank at the end of the day, you'll be fine. This is us. Later on, I'll have to start making decisions about upgrading the truck and that kind of thing. Like what to spend money on. Okay, that is clear. Those kind of junctions, though, where you get off the highway and then you go under a bridge underneath, you have to be so cautious about the traffic exiting the highway because they just pull out of that junction straight into your path. I've had it done so many times now. Do you know, I always think that they should give you a combo in this game. What do I mean by combo? I mean, like... If I do a journey now, and I have zero incidents, it should keep a note of that. And on my next journey, I should get like, I don't know, 2 or a 3% bonus for a combo. And then if I keep doing that, like if I get to 5 journeys without a single incident, I can get my combo up to like 10%, say. Because you're driving so safely that the game basically rewards you for it. Would be kind of cool to have that. Right, I'm not sure which way this is going to be going in. And also, I've still got that trailer mod, which means I have to more or less hunt around for my drop-off point. There it is. You see the, um, not the cones, but the strike things at the end there? Right, so what we'll do is I think we'll reverse it into this bit. So we'll have to turn it around and back it up. Sure we've got good clearance. That's enough. And then we'll go this way. It's in theory, we could take our next delivery from here and thus minimise the... Uh, travel time between jobs however it's not always the case that the best paying jobs are where you happen to drop off you know I mean this is another thing this this drop off mod that I've got here where it removes your the big flashing box on the ground like it shouldn't be a mod like it should be in the game there should be an option like difficult difficult drop-off or something, I don't know. See, I can't actually see that now. It's like really tricky to see where that is. Okay. 
Let's move this one a little bit. I don't even have fizz on this one. There we go. I had, I had a feeling it was round about there ish, but I didn't want to go external camera and just have a look. But, you know, they're happy with it, I'm happy with it. In a yard like that, I don't think it needs to be exact, to be honest. Alright, we should level up. Yes, right, there we go. Uh, continue. So we got paid six grand for that, which is not bad. 374 XP. And we need to decide where we're going to put our money. So, let's see. Rank one gives you delivers up to 350k. Rank two would give us up to 550k. And a 10% high reward on delivery distances. It would be nice to get something like this going. If we go rank three on that one, we would improve 10% high reward on finishing urgent versus. Oh yeah, I got that one for the 30% bonus, didn't I? That that is really key, that one, that 30% bonus. Because that goes away here. And after that, it basically goes 3 and 5% on the other two things. Um, so we could go for some ADR. Or we could just go into long distance and start getting the bigger jobs. That might be a thing to do. 550Ks. Let's do that. Let's take the, uh, the longer. It'll take a while for the job engine to flush that through. But that's okay. So now we've got 21,000 in the bank. 21 grand in the bank. And we're not quite at the end of the day. Our drivers are probably out as well. So that's that's good. We're only good money there. More than cover the bills. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this uh, episode of Trucking Diaries to You. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the vid. Until the next one, take care, guys. Happy trucking.